Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is still Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Hermann Breit. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to drop me a comment below. Hermann Albert Breit was born on May 7th, 1892 in Pirmasens, which is now located in southwest Germany. Once Breit graduated school with a diploma allowing him to attend university, he decided to join the Prussian army as an officer aspirant. After he completed war school, Hermann Breit was promoted to the rank of Leutnant in the following year. This rank corresponds to the rank of second lieutenant in the US Army. With the outbreak of the First World War, Hermann Breit fought on the Western Theater, first in Lorraine, before he advanced with his units up to the Somme River in 1914, where the battles began to turn into trench warfare. His position as a leader of a machine gun company was interrupted by a transfer to become an adjutant in December of the same year. After only four months, he did return to his old unit, where he was involved in a battle of Priestwood, and from March until April 1916, Breit's units fought at the Battle of Verdun. Due to the unit's heavy casualties, it was sent back to Germany to regenerate and reorganize before they were sent to the Eastern Theater in the year 1916. Here the unit was involved in the Lake Narok battle, where the Russian army unsuccessfully tried to regain the initiative against the German army. Afterwards, Hermann Breit was transferred back to the Western Theater, where he experienced the end of the First World War. For his achievements during the First World War, Breit was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross, the Hamburg Hanseatic Cross, as well as the House Order of Hohenzollern with swords. In the interwar period, Hermann Breit was kept on in the Reichswehr and during the 1920s, he served in infantry staff positions before he was transferred into the motor vehicle departments of the Reichswehr. The motor vehicle departments were the roots of the secret developed armored units violating the Treaty of Versailles. In the 1930s, he took a position in the Reichswehr ministry as an expert for tank and anti-tank warfare before he received the command first of a department in a tank regiment and in November 1938, he took over the command of Tank Regiment 36. With this regiment, Breit participated in the Poland campaign in the following year as part of the 4th Tank Division that advanced towards Warsaw. In the following year, Hermann Breit also participated in the West Campaign as commander of the 5th Tank Brigade, which was also under the command of the 4th Tank Division. During a tank battle on May 15, 1940, where his brigade destroyed more than 30 French tanks, he was wounded and awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. Following the West Campaign, Breit was transferred into the Supreme Army Command for staff duties. In this position, he was promoted to the rank of Generalmajor, equivalent to the rank of Brigadier General in the United States Army. In October 1941, he was transferred to the staff of the 3rd Tank Division and ultimately took over the command over this unit in the same month. With the 3rd Tank Division, Hermann Breit participated in the Battle of Moscow and the following defensive battles against the Red Army. In the area around Korsk, his unit was able to destroy a noticeable amount of Red Army tanks for which Breit was awarded the Oak Leafs to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross in January 1942. Following these events, his tank division was transferred towards Kharkov and advanced under the command of Army Group South, which marched towards Stalingrad. Breit, however, was transferred into the Führer Reserve in September 42, before he was given command of the 3rd Tank Corps in January 1943. In command of this corps, he continued fighting in the southern part of the Soviet Union. In February of the following year, Hermann Breit commanded a relief attack 
with an attempt to break through to the encircled German troops at the Korsun Herkaski pocket. This action led to an escape of many German soldiers, although they had to leave most of their heavy equipment behind. During this battle, more than 700 Soviet tanks were destroyed, for which Breit received the swords to the Knights Cross of the Iron Cross. In September 1944, Hermann Breit and his corps fought hard defensive battles in Hungary, including the Battle of Budapest. Up until May 1945, the remaining parts of his corps withdrew back into Austrian territory, where they surrendered to US troops. Hermann Breit was released from captivity in the year 1947, and he died on September 3, 1964 in Pech in central West Germany at the age of 72. Thank you so much for watching.